being your best self is figuring out who you are first. That's the first mm-hmm. part of that. Mm-hmm. Who you yeah, my, are. My, my, my big thing is, I don't know if I said this to you, but how are you, uh, I guess we said this last week, like how are you supposed to hold yourself accountable if you don't know who, what you're holding yourself accountable to? Like if I don't know who I'm supposed to be, how am I supposed to hold myself accountable for the actions I take? You know, so it's, it's a constant thing. Got to know who you are before you can actually start becoming the best version of that. And it's a, it's a adjust, you're going to make adjustments. You're going to. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I've made adjustments from starting a week ago. <laughs> like, yeah. And that sounds so bad. Like, you're like, oh, Tuki, you, you're in the big leagues and this and that. And then you're now learning about yourself. Like, there's no time. I feel like this is important. There's no time period to really figure yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people don't find out till they're 30 years old. And yeah, they could have success stories, but that's what turns those success stories into freaking the elites. Mm-hmm. Like, some people find out at the age of 18 who mm-hmm. they are. Like, this is me, this is what I do, and this happened to be successful, and they go be successful. Mm-hmm. Some people never find out. But those are, the, I feel like that's the point of life when you see, like, good turn into elite 